आप फाइलोजेनिक ट्यूबर्स क्रिएट एंड फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस रिजल्ट इट कैन बी कंसीडर्ड दैट हियर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द होस्ट द रिजल्ट हियर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द होस्ट द आइसोलेट्स वर बिलोंग टू द सेम क्लस्टर so uh, my conclusion from this study is that these isolates have cultural and morphological variability and molecular variability was also shown in them these isolates most of them were highly behavior uh, highly showed highly virulent behavior and susceptible cultivar pv1 confirming the diverse range of arsulani <coughs> information obtained by the studies can be helpful in creating uh, disease management approaches against such pathogens thank you it's okay time over Just not yet. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I call upon uh, Aras Topo to start your presentation. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Chair. Five slides, four minutes, one minute. Discussion. Topo ji, stick on to the time. Na video stop karna. Stop. Clear sir. Tum sir ka khuli hai na. Stick on. Just start your presentation, Topo. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, Chair Prasa. My topic is about characterization of species. मैंने तो बहुत short करा फिर वो. genus species have a wide economic and social impact which is capable to produce mycotoxin foreign enzymes and cytic acid so that i have attempted to identify so i have attempted to identify the species up to species level by combined molecular and morphological analysis so i have isolated 10 isolated uh, isolates from different host from different areas during the year 2019 to 20 all all strains are grown on japex east agar uh, agar media these isolates these isolates are collected from different host are listed here macro and micro morphological characters of all these 10 isolates were uh, categorized on the on, on different uh, characters like uh, colony growth colonial head vesicle stigmata and conidal shape and size as an identified morphologically based uh, aspergillus nevius aspergillus niger terigola aspergillus flavus aspergillus astes all these uh, isolated species are characterized uh, on the basis of morphological characters on the these are the morphological characters uh, parameters uh, uh, colony growth reverse of the colony conidal head conidal spore vesicle and stigma all these are the characteristic features on on that basis i have categorized the, all the six species these are the different and on the basis of the its characterization and the molecular morphological characters i have uh, confirmed only six species um, of 10 isolate Uh, 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 such as aspergillus nevius aspergillus niger terigola flavus shadowy and astus thank you to also okay uh, there is a scope for a couple of questions for him uh, definitely time is there anybody has any question uh, yes uh, Uh, yes. Mr. Topo. Ah uh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Acha. Uh, out of these five species, could you observe which is the dominant species among the five you identified? No, no, sir. I have only species level identified. Okay. So those, uh, out of ten isolates, uh, I have categorized the species. Okay, sir. We okay. Not, uh, so, uh, no, suppose out of ten, no. So, which, uh, which out of five, which is uh, more, no? Out of ten isolates, which you did. Uh, With particular species is uh, much more, you know. Uh, 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 that was as well. Out Niger. of ten samples, Niger. which Out. one or two isolates you got uh, associated well, with as most well, of the samples? Aspergillus. Well, after that, aspergillus flavus. Sir. Okay. Okay. That's good. Anybody? Any other question from anybody? Yes, yes me. Yeah, Kajal, please. Yeah. I am uh, Dr. Topo. 
Uh, yes, sir. I, I have a simple query. Yes, sir. Uh, how you will be using uh, the morpho uh, molecular characteristics for management of Aspergillus uh, species? Sir, on the colony characters, colony characters is the very clear uh, uh, identification. And then we have to see the our that conidial head, conidial head, and then spore, spore or conidial spore. Conidial spore is the very characteristic features. Uh, that that one side the very dark, blackish, and Topo, uh, you're not getting the question. Uh, Topo, what he's asking is how this information will be useful for management. Management the question is quite different. Oh, no, that for management aspect, I have not uh, done, sir. Oh, I have yeah. only yeah, done in a species level. <laughs> okay, into all right, species yeah. level. okay. Time. Time so, so. thank you, Topo, for making your presentation. Okay, so, Shall we call upon the next uh, student, uh, next presenter, uh, Devendra Devendrappa? Is around. Devendrappa is around. He is from yes, Division sir. of Nematology, IRI. Yeah, in that list, he is there. Yeah, fine. Then uh, okay. Uh, he, we have... he has joined. But, uh... Hello, sir. I am uh, training, sir. Okay. Yeah, he's there. So you, you are already locked. Share your slides quickly. Yeah, your slides. Okay, okay. And the rest okay. of the students, you all your presenter, keep your uh, slides ready. Okay? On the desktop or laptop, wherever. <clears throat> so, Devendra Pai, I have to make presentation. Five slides, four minutes. Yes, sir. Maybe one minute. Uh, one okay. minute. Uh, I am audible, sir. Yeah, you are audible. Yeah. Yeah. Show your slides. Okay, sir. I, I have shared my slides. Are visible, sir? No. It's coming. No. Yes. No. Ah, yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Good yeah, afternoon. Start start. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, uh, 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 all. Uh, welcome to my presentation. <clears throat> Network problem. Your sound is not coming. <coughs> Devendra, Paar, time is flying for you. Yes, I am audible, sir. Yes, yes. <coughs> yes. Okay, sir. Not. Uh, my not topic now, now to settle potential of fungal root and of a sinus paradox in Kagnata. Uh, plant are tempted uh, most uh, domesticating uh, pathogens. They, uh, they are uh, creating wounds used to invade of other pathogens. Currently, it uh, management to uh, highly toxic nematocytes for management of nematodes. It, it, uh, it leads to uh, reducing uh, um, various environment pollution and also pesticide residual overall agriculture community. Therefore, we need alternative chemical pesticides. Endophytic microbes are uh, of a great untapped potential as a biological agent for management of plant parasitic nematodes. Uh, for that, we have uh, isolated, uh, uh, collected root samples of uh, different uh, field crops and uh, articulture crops and vegetables in uh, higher high field. And uh, we have isolated uh, uh, isol uh, uh, through a standard protocol and maintained pure culture in this land culture. After that, we are identified. Uh, identified through morphological characterization with the help of Diva, madam. And after that, you, you have prepared a broad culture for preparation of CFPP. After CFPP, you have tested against uh, nematodes. Mm. Uh, you have tested uh, nematocidal uh, efficacy against melodonic juveniles and eggs and immobility and mortality of juveniles. Uh, for uh, around 30-35 uh, uh, isolates we have collected. Uh, among uh, uh, different uh, 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 crop field in uh, IRI farm with uh, 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 standard protocol. Among them, we are identified based on mor uh, morphological characterization. Among them, Pencilium, Trichoderma, and uh, Geotrichum, Aspergillus, Pigerium, and uh, these are the major ones. Uh, these are, we are tested when uh, bio-nemtisidal empty empty effect uh, Agnost melodogen join immobility and mortality with a different time of interval, uh, 24 hours and 48 hours. Uh, uh, irrespective of isolates, 
and time of exposure increases uh, immobility and motility of uh, eyes at uh, out of 25 uh, these are the uh, isolates are more, more motility ranging from 76 to 98% uh, within 24 and 48 hours of uh, time of interval <clears throat> thank you good yeah we have scope for uh, yeah two questions anybody yeah you can remember slides in the meantime anybody is having any questions yes, yes. Uh, yeah please yeah. Uh, fungal root endophytes ha uh, sir what is the mechanism for controlling the uh, uh, melodogain incognita actually a root end of it secretes some secondary metabolites and toxins it may suppress the root not nematod for infection of plants in uh, uh, registers sir yeah okay so i think no more questions i think we'll move on to uh, the next theme i think uh, here we entered the first theme biodiversity taxonomy and systematics of fungi Uh, there were two three presentations now we will move on to the second theme bioinformatics and molecular mycology uh rubin deberma is around yes sir I'm yeah ready. please yeah please uh, make, make your presentation please yes, good morning sir uh my uh, poster title is development of species uh, specific molecular marker for identification of three plant pathogenic cryptic species of fusarium solanae species complex so we as we know fusarium solanae is a most important uh, fungal pathogen causing root rot and wilt of several agricultural crops currently we know 45 phylogenetic species are present on fusarium solanae species complex uh, based on this information our previ- uh, previous study was to establish Uh, cryptic species uh, present in india and we established uh, nine cryptic species and among the among them predominantly fusarium falciforme fusarium metaborans and fusarium striam are the most predominant present in india with this information uh, this pre- uh, the present study and uh, the present study was started to develop species specific molecular marker for identification of these three cryptic species so to develop the species specific marker uh, the conserved sequence from multiple alignment of their genes are used uh, so uh, in this uh, we align uh, the um, uh, alignment of 46 isolates of fusarium falciforme and uh, seven different cryptic species of 33, 33 sequences are aligned for the development of uh, fusarium falciforme specific uh, molecular marker similarly fusarium uh, metaborans and fusarium striam uh, are used uh, alignment are used for development of uh, species specific marker Uh, after alignment we found uh, uh, 20 uh, 205 base pair uh, uh, fusarium falciforme specific uh, conservations are identified within the tab gene which is lies within the 169 to 374 base pairs regions of tab gene um, similarly uh, uh, fusarium metaborans specific uh, 365 base pair conservations also identified which is uh, which presents between uh, 156 to fi- uh, 521 base pairs regions of tab gene another striatum specific uh, conservations are identified which is around 207 base pairs region which lies within uh, uh, 3 3 22 3 7 uh, 5 530 base pairs regions within the tab region now uh, after the development of the markers our main aim is to de- uh, sensitivity analysis uh, specificity analysis of the markers and for specific analysis we uh, tested ag- pcr analysis against seven different cryptic species of fusarium solanae uh, species complex <coughs> and uh, it is uh, and we found specifically amplify only within the species only which is around 200 base pair for fusarium falciforme 365 base pair for uh, fusarium metaborans and 207 base pair for fusarium striatum furthermore we specific analysis using the multiplex pcrs and we also here specifically single band amplify uh, present within the specific only now uh, the sensitivity analyzed uh, for the uh, molecular marker 
here we use different dilution of DNA templates and we found for fusarium falciforme the mark specific markers detect up to the DNA concentration 1.2 uh, nanogram per microliter. In case of fusarium metaborans and fusarium striatum, we found 1.4 nanogram per microliter. Now the markers are tested against the inoculated samples. In this test, we used healthy plant growth as a negative control and then inoculated soil samples, symptomatic plant growth and pathogen DNA as a positive control. All the three markers specifically amplify in, in the inoculated soil samples, symptomatic plant roots and pathogenic DNA. Now the conclusion is three specific species molecular markers are developed against these three cryptic species. And these markers will help in rapid detection and accurate identification of cryptic species using plant samples directly from the fields. And then they are highly sensitive, which uh, detect up to uh, DNA concentration 1.2 to 1.4 nanogram micro per microliter. And this is the first study of a species, species marker, molecular marker for Fusarium solanic cryptic species diagnosis. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> you are just on time. Uh, any questions for uh, uh, Rubin? Rubin, can you tell you what is cryptic species? Cryptic species. Yes, sir. Sir, cryptic species is a species which are molecularly, they are distinct, uh, they have uh, different in molecularly, but morphologically, they are at very limited morphologically distinction. So that's why they have called cryptic species. Okay. How you will differentiate between the 205 base pair band and 207 base pair band in the multiplex species? That is not that is the, that is the, uh, this is a difficult that uh, the uh, multiplex species also found multiplex species these three markers. For single species are okay, but not for multiple species. Yeah. Okay. Can you identify this uh, question? Uh, who is asking the question? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I, I had one simple question. <clears throat> one more question. This yes. last one. Yes, yes, sir. Simple question. Huh? Can yes, I ask sir. one simple question? Yes, 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 sir. Please continue. Yes, sir. Time is running. <clears throat> yes. Two minutes. Talk. Ah, that. What is the what is the needs? For development of species a specific molecular marker? Yes, sir. Sir, specific species molecular marker is we need to develop because rapid something uh, in rapid identification and accurate identification. Uh, why are you will identify in the field or in laboratory? And what sir, will be the benefit sir, of the sir, once, sir, sir, once we develop species specific marker, then we don't need for morphological analysis. We directly collect from the field and test as a molecular. How so the importance in causing disease? These three three cryptic species. Sir, these three cryptic species are most. Yeah, actually, are... it becomes turned out to be three questions now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was one to go for only one question. Now it becomes three questions now. I think no it's the last. Time is there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kajal, for interaction. Yeah. <laughs> you can remove your slides. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Shweta, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, please proceed. So my slides are visible. Not yet. Once four minutes are over, it will be over. You will listen. You will listen one bell. Okay. Yes. Now it is visible. Start. <clears throat> yeah. So good afternoon and welcome everyone. Today I am uh, going to present piece of my work for my thesis. And the topic is transcriptome analysis of maize susceptible and resistant spine pro, uh, provides insight into the role of calcium mediated signaling during pipelized maize infection. Uh, the theme is the calcium uh, based intracellular signaling system is the key weapon of resistance variety to withstand the infection of their associated pathogen. Calcium ion is involved in many physiological processes and activation of uh, such as activation of plasma membrane in case of biotic and abiotic stresses activation of map kinase uh, uh, pathway calcium ion calcium ion uh, protein kinases and many more and calcium <clears throat> ion has the capacity to alter the uh, response and expression of different other defense associated uh, related genes so in my study the um, basic idea of my study was is to understand the basis of resistance 
of the registered resistance variety by germplasm committee which is sc7 this the specific feature of this variety is that it is highly resistant against the fungal pathogen that is bipolaris medis race o pathogen here the uh, race o pathogen is important because in uh, india um, there are many uh, very very few uh, resist uh, resistance variety which are genotypes of maize uh, which are, uh, which can provide a good resistance against this bipolaris medis race o pathogen unlike race t where we have a uh, Sing, uh, reported single resistance genes and many breeding program has been conducted to develop a high resistance variety against race t so this uh, um, uh, we were interested in finding out the uh, what are the key features of sc7 at molecular level because it is unknown which provide uh, which makes it a, a resistance variety and in this uh, part of my work uh, we were interested in looking Uh, the, uh, what is the signaling behavior? Uh, signaling behavior of SC7 when uh, it is exposed to uh, bi a bi biotic stress such as bipolaris. <coughs> so for this uh, methodology, we have used is mRNA sequencing of maize susceptible and resistance line. Uh, this was conducted using Illum Illumina HiSeq sequencing platform. Uh, SC7 was uh, uh, studied against this standard su susceptible check, which is CM119. and we also um, validated gene through real time rt pcr and uh, further <coughs> more we uh, we have done in, in silico analysis for neighboring gene to understand uh, which are the calcium uh, mediated pathway uh, can also uh, are related to other defense related gene so here uh, the results of my study uh, based on the cake pathway and gene ontology here we can uh, see that the Uh, most of the gene which are upregulated and downregulated are uh, uh, somewhere related to uh, calcium ion, uh, such as calcium ion binding or calcium dependent phospholipid binding or calcium dependent. <coughs> so uh, the basic um, main outcome is out of 120 genes, we found 18 downregulated and 41 upregulated genes. and when we compare resistant inoculated plant with susceptible inoculated and also against their control like uh, resistant non inoculated and susceptible non inoculated and again this genes predominantly fall uh, under the category of calcium ion binding protein cal module in calcium dependent protein kinase third was the in silico analysis uh, in the below diagram we can see Uh, it suggested uh, the its relation uh, with other calcium associated pathway plus other defense related genes such as uh, uh, genes of uh, phenol propionate pathway ros gene and atp atp uh, genes which take uh, which are the key role, play, uh, player in the defense mechanism so here are the uh, results of rna sequencing and uh, below uh, below we are seeing the graph of rna sequencing validated through real time pcr these are in consistent manner we uh, apart from the calcium associated gene we have taken atp atp gene uh, means uh, other defense related genes also to understand um, uh, their neighboring behavior and altering the mechanism of resistance so in uh, uh, this flow chart uh, it is literature based uh, this sir, is oh, okay sir time is up so, Conclusion of my study is most of the calcium signaling associated gene fall under the decoding process of signaling. Thank you. Uh, any questions for, for one? Uh, yeah. Any questions? Uh, I have any questions. Go for a question. Shweta. Yes, sir. Uh, have you proved the race uh, O as you have mentioned in your one of the slides that O oh, race O was used. So how did you prove the race? Sir, actually, this is uh, already proven in uh, my lab. One of the thesis of my senior, uh, Venkat Teacher, has a um, work on completely race O to characterize uh, it on uh, the. How field. it was proved? Uh, sir, uh, in was the field, uh, um, uh, based on the trial and uh, non-CMS. Uh, lines were uh, made, uh, resistance lines were taken and they were screened for the years to understand the specific uh, infection caused by race o pathogen and also molecular detection they have also conducted yes one simple question sheta ji yes, sir uh, tell me the name of the pathway the calcium signaling what is the name of the pathway 
sir there are uh, calcium dependent uh, protein kinase name of the part. pathway name of the pathway what is the yeah. name of the pathway that calcium signaling phenomenon is working the calcium ion binding sir we found the pathway associated pathway phospholipase pathway what are the receptor working in this in this system what are the receptors pr receptors no okay, okay. Uh, that was the last question i think you both can interact and she is here you are also here <laughs> um uh, we'll call upon the next student the puja parma uh, uh, parma puja parma is here yes sir yes sir yeah upload your presentation please and start your yes, presentation sir. it's only 5 uh, five minutes 4 minutes of presentation and 1 minute uh, question start your presentation at at 4 minutes you will find you will uh, hear sound sound of the ring okay yes sir yes sir. Yeah. okay start ready very good afternoon sir i'm here to present my e poster that is entitled molecular programming of drought shell and trichoderma harzianum by prime rice drought as we all know is a major constraint to the crop productivity and it affects rice productivity globally up to 10% hence to find out an environmental friendly solution to this uh, the activity of bio control agents has been explored and it has been well established uh, its positive effects in the biotech and abiotic stress management as because it increases the photosynthetic rate transpiration rate uh, nutrient uptake and water holding capacity besides this it has also role in uh, uh upregulation of uh, uh, antioxidative enzymes and secondary metabolites so considering this uh, and trigoderma hazenum was being uh, chosen for the present study however the molecular basis for these studies is less known so uh, considering all these points the objective is designed to study transcriptome of the bio, bio prime rice under drought conditions to identify the possible genes responsible for bio control mediated tolerance then methodology briefly first of all the suitable rice cultivar is being selected after the rna isolation libraries were prepared and data analysis was done through bioinformatic protocols then the results and then the some of the candidate genes were validated by qpcr so first of all the results on the left side of uh, the presentation there are there is an image uh, that was responsible for selection of the prop for the present time points that shows that up to 10 days of uh, drought stress by a control agent was able to maintain plant growth and uh, on the right side there is a graph that shows that uh, among which the this study was previously carried out by dr vishnu and uh, it uh, the various by control agents that is trichoderma hazianum isolate strain 1 2 and uh, ketomium globosum and telleromyces they were being compared for testing on these two three cultivars that is cebagenan ir64 and drr44 among these uh, trichoderma hazianum 2 was being selected on the basis of the wilting percentage proline content mda content and ir64 was selected as because Uh, being susceptible it was able to maintain the growth of the plant the reference is given underneath for the, from the present study statistics shows that 86 to 95 percent rates were mapped on the reference genome then a total of 33691 dgs were obtained out of which 2506 were selected for uh, for the analysis because they were actually significant and the uh, up regulation and down regulation was lying in the range more than 2 and um, more than 2 and minus 2 then on the left side there is a graph that uh, the venn diagram that so in the center i am concentrating on the significant uh, 
genes out of which we see that 70% uh, genes are commonly expressed in drought and by by controlled uh, treated rice whereas uh, individually 15% each is exclusively expressed under by control and drought conditions underneath there is a graph that shows uh, pathway categories and uh, 21 pathway categories we uh, broad categories have been uh, observed in the dgs and then next is the geo analysis graph that uh, has that divided the in three different biological domains that is molecular function biological processes and cellular component out of which out of which molecular function catalytic activity and binding on highly uh, represented groups amongst uh, biological processes cellular process and metabolic process are highly represented groups then in the cellular component cell and cell part are the highly represented groups then Wind this is a table that that shows Wind the up. maximum genes uh, the photosynthetic genes are highly expressed and osmotic related genes are also highly expressed then next is the kgg analysis that also shows the metabolic pathways are highly expressed and uh, photosynthetic genes some of the photosynthetic genes were uh, validated by qpcr in the laboratory and this, the the results are consistent with the previous results then uh, the kgg enrichment shows c3 cycle enzymes and the glutathione pathway enzymes and the phenylpropanoid pathway enzymes these are highly up regulated in the by control treated rice then uh, by control genes were also analyzed which shows that uh, some of the genes were related to the uh, mycelial association with the roots and one was responsible uh, for uh, the cellulose disruption which ultimately helped in plant growth so overall we can see that the uh, that uh, the by control agent were able to maintain plant growth by uh, simultaneous induction of various uh, uh, pathways that is photosynthetic pathway antioxidative genes and osmotic genes were also upregulated that is proline like pro uh, proteins osmotic proteins and aquaporins and besides this uh, trichoderma hyacinum also upregulates no, its various enzymes up. yes. yes. yeah. okay yeah. sir thank you thank yeah. you sir. any questions for puja parmar anybody you answer answer puja yeah you answer okay sir. yeah be precise in asking question yeah is one share karna मैन ऑफ्रोल Sir, you have to unmute if a question is coming. Yeah. Yeah, please. Sir, आप एक क्वेश्चन पूछिए. पूछ लीजिए. Our presentation is very good. Excellent presentation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well done, well done. Go ahead. Okay. 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 So, uh, with that, we conclude uh, the second theme, that is bioinformatics and molecular okay. mycology. We will move on to the third theme, that is fungal bio uh, bio agents. So, I'll call upon uh, Chaitra Yam. Chaitra Yam is around. I think she already logged in. Chaitra is around. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes, Chaitra. Yeah, Chaitra, yes. uh, share your uh, slides and uh, start making presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and bio. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, your time starts now. Good afternoon, all. Myself, Chaitra. Now I'm going to present my poster presentation on the topic morphology and bio. Can show your video also if there is a possibility. video view we would like to know who is making actual presentation okay okay no just click video there is no magic here <laughs> afternoon hall anyway chaitra yeah. now yeah. i am going start, to present yeah. my posha presentation on the uh, on the topic morphology and bioset of bavaria bassiana against tetranicus truncatus 
as you know beveria bassiana is one of the important entomopathogenic fungi it commonly uh, habitate in the soil by producing the different types of the toxic material that is bevericillin etc because of this one of the nature it is commonly used as a biological insecticide against the different types of the pest infected on the wide range of the crop now i am majorly concentrated on the mite pest it is a one of the important uh, obligative plant uh, feeders uh, showing the wider host range by direct damaging itself it reduces the 50% of the crop yield due to its quick resistance development in the uh, pest against the pesticide the alternative method is used to controlling the pest infestation in the different crop is using of the entomopathogenic fungi to keeping this point of view uh, we set up the two objective that is to study the morphological characterization of beveria isolates and to evaluate the potential isolates of beveria bassiana against mite coming to the materials and methods in case of the first objective morphological characterization we can done by two Uh, studies that is cultural studies and microscopic uh, studies in case of the cultural studies colony growth rate and growth pattern was recorded in case of the microscopic studies pore shape and size was recorded in case of the bioassay studies 15 different uh, beveria bassiana isolates was tested against the mite first initially we prepared the beveria spore suspension and transfer the mite on the spore suspension treated leaf disk and incubated into the incubator at 25 degrees celsius and for that 24 intervals uh, 24 hour interval we take on the observation this is the figure which represents how we placed the transfer mite on the spore suspension treated the leaf disk and coming to the result in case of the morphological characterization all 15 isolates showing the similar in case of the conidiophore and phyllids and their axis characteristic but it showing the significant difference in case of the growth patterns and the shape and size it, it was observed in the table 1 Now, this is the figure which represents the different growth rate and pattern of the fifteen beveria bassiana isolate in figure three. In case of the figure four, we observe the spore size and shape of the fifteen beveria bassiana isolates. Now, coming to the bios result, uh, due to the uh, treatment of the beveria bassiana to the mite, the percentage mortality observation was taken uh, among the fifteen isolates. Two isolates, that is the nine and the thirteen isolate, which shows the hundred percent mortality. It it was further confirmed by the microscopic observation whether the mort mortality is mainly occurring due to the beverian infection by observing the microscopic view it is showing by, uh, it shows the presence of the beverial phyllids and the spores then we can confirm that it is mainly due to the beverial infection uh, finally i would like to conclude my poster presentation by like uh, by saying like this even though difference in the morphological characteristic that is colonial appearance and spore appearance it shows the bevy bio efficacy against the mite therefore there is no correlation between the morphological character and bio assay of uh, beveria bassiana of this two isolates and the future aspect is transcriptomic and biochemical studies of potential beveria bassiana isolates against mite and interaction studies of beveria bassiana isolates against uh, against mite in in vivo condition under the protective cultivation thank you okay this uh, thank you presentation any questions for uh, ma'am for anyone you are asking yes sir yes sir please what is the mode of action of beveria bassiana against uh, pest Uh, sir, it uh, it it have the more characteristic that producing the more number of the spores, and by producing the different types of the enzymes like chitinase and cellulase, which degraded the cuticle of that insect and directly enter into the uh, in inside of the. Uh, Best and by multiplication of their mycelium mat, uh, by observing the nutrients and all those things, it uh, develop the competition against the pest and establishment. Like why is it uh, infect the pest? Sir? Very good. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir, for asking very very good question. And I'll be move on to the next presenter, uh, Rami Kasam. Rami Kasam is around. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Upload your presentation, yeah. please. Keep your video on. Can I start now, sir? Yeah, you yeah, are on the screen of Rubin, I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please proceed. Your time I'm starts sorry. now. Okay, sir. Good okay. evening. Uh, respected sir, my name is Rami uh, from Nematology de Department, PhD student. My uh, my topic is uh, management of Meditogenic Incognita using Metarizium uh, isolate, okay, obtained from C. elegans. Uh, 
We know that rotnot nematode belonging to melodogain having a wide host range are, and global, uh, causing global losses for agriculture and horticulture around uh, $173 billion annually. Most important nematode management strategy uh, it is the biological control due to eco-friendly properties and also helps to get rid of the resistance problem that is associated with wide use of chemicals. Metarizium, it is the fungus causing green muscardine disease, which is usually known about that it is entomopathogenic uh, fungi, uh, belonging to different uh, and causing a uh, kill to the insects, uh, uh, belonging to different orders. Recently, uh, Metarizium municipally uh, suppressed rotnot nematode population, incognita and javanica, uh, on tomato and cow, uh, and, uh, cow bean under in uh, vivo condition. But in this uh, present, we will study instead of uh, uh, using or is isolating metarizium by using Galeria as a bait, we will use now C. elegans as a bait, a nematode, to identify which is to identify the uh, fungus and evaluate it against rotten okay. nematode. The material methods we will collect, I, I collect so, uh, soil samples from the 14 states of India. Uh, number two maintains the Melodogai incognita J2s by using one single egg mass and uh, hatching it. Uh, by using uh, uh, tomato variety uh, usara rabi, and uh, for uh, maintains C elegans, uh, we use OB50, uh, E. coli OB50, and for isolation and uh, identification of the fungus, for isolation uh, we added the C elegans around 500 C elegans in the water agar petri plate and uh, soil solution. After that, we start doing to isolate and purify, like what we can see this in this photo. Isolated one time and second time to 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 get pur purification. That means we will start adding again and again C elegans till we will get a, a pure colony of the fungus. After that, we will start uh, 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 multiply it in uh, BDA, culture it in BDA. Uh, for morphological and molecular characteristics, uh, we depend on morphological characteristics uh, structure like conidia, conidio for uh, and felis, and using one marker which I use ITS uh, region, ITS one and two, by using primers ITS one and ITS four. For evaluation against uh, the fungus against rotnot nematode, we did in vivo culture, in vivo and uh, and in vitro. In vitro, by uh, again the same motor agar, but now we added uh, 100 uh, melodogain incognita J2s and one ml of fungal spores, 10 to power six spore suspension. And uh, uh, this for in vitro, for, uh, and leave it for one week uh, on 27 degree, uh, and uh, we got the mortality percentage. We uh, mirror the uh, quantity percentage. <clears throat> but for in vivo culture, we use four treatments: fungus plus nematode, nematode alone. Fungus alone and healthy plant, and we added for one gram we will add two J2s. That means uh, we I have 400 grams. That means to uh, 800 J2s melodogain incognita we added, and 10 ml for fungal spores. Uh, replication for replication for each treatment. <coughs> for results, isolation of the nematophagus fungi we saw that uh, we we got so many. Uh, uh, Fungals, uh, fungal isolates, around 81 fungal isolates. Uh, that, that is not shown here. Uh, we are focusing about metarizium was one of among these fungus, fungi. Uh, this isolate was present only in the rhizospheric soil collected from Neem uh, from Assam. Uh, next, we did the morphological. Uh, we can see this photo how the style of symptoms of C. elegans uh, 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 infection by the fungus. Uh, we can see this the, the conidia and conidia 4 and how the colonization happened. For morphological characteristics and molecular identification, also, uh, well, uh, I mean, you sum up your time is up already. You ah, sum up in a minute, yeah, please. Yes, uh, one, one uh, slide set. Uh, micro, uh, for microscopic, we, we can see this uh, uh, conidia and, and the style of the colony. Uh, and uh, for molecular, also, the, the, the cl closest uh, species, we, we, it is morphological and uh, for molecular, for this marker, it's giving for uh, 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 metarizium and isopeli. Uh, but it's giving 88.8. .8, that's mean we, I need, I think, another marker to make sure. For another uh, uh, for evaluation, evaluation against MI, we can see now the symptoms of MI, how they are causing mortality around 97.6 percent, mm -hmm. comparing to control 1.33. Uh, Uncloded evaluation uh, in vivo. 
in, in, in vivo only these two, uh, we will see the uh, uh, growth, growth parameters uh, uh, become, comparing to nematode only, we can see fungus and nematode is uh, uh, causing uh, suppressive of to the, to the nematode, comparing to nematode control. Next slide. Uh, but, uh, Next slide, the conclusion in this research article was uh, revealed that the first time that the fungus metarhizium was isolated from Dead Sea elegans. But further in vivo research is required to confirm the ability of this in, uh, Indian isolates of met uh, metarhizium. Uh, and we need another and a third marker. Also Thank, you. Sure. Uh, Thank you. I think so we've already exceeded the time. Maybe only okay. one question. Anybody? Yes, because you are collecting fungus from the soil but spraying on the leaves. How it will work? Uh, uh, so, soil solution says soil solution and water agar and using nematode as a, 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 a so you are collecting the fungus from the soil and, yeah, and spraying on the leaves how it no, against the nematode said no leaves uh, only water uh, uh, I, i'm collecting the, the fungus from soil solution and using water agar and sea elegance only no leaf okay fine yeah i think uh, that's uh, <laughs> thank you rami um, we will move on to the next presentation <laughs> balachandan gauda is there Hi, sir. Yeah, upload your presentation. Remove your slides. Rami, Rami you can uh, uh, unshare, unshare. unshare your, your slides. slides. We will go move on to the next presenter. Bala Chandan Gowda, please upload your presentation, please. And restrict your presentation in five minutes. If you exceed the time, I'm not sure. Judges may reduce the mark. Upon the guru of presentation. Down, kaha hai? Okay, he's struggling with some technical issue. Uh, we will move on to the next person, Praveen. No, sir, coming. Bala Chandan, you are uploading? Yeah. Okay. okay. Keep your video also on. Yeah, keep your video. We would like to see you. One minute, sir. Yeah. Yeah, start your presentation. Five minutes. Your time starts now. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you can present. come on presentation mode, you know. It's only... okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Baljandan Guna from City Technology Division, PhD student. Now I'm going to uh, do my e-poster uh, presentation on my topic that is effect of uh, chili fruit rot uh, disease on seed quality parameters and evaluation of biocontrol agents for eco-friendly management, uh, eco management strategies. So uh, you all know that uh, anthracnose, uh, that is fruit rot, is a widespread uh, problem and uh, limiting the profitable cultivation of the uh, crop as well as the, for it is also proper for the seed production in uh, different parts of the country. So uh, in our experiment, what we have did we have uh, first we have collected the pusajwala, uh, pusajwala seed samples. Uh, we have, here uh, we have uh, collected both uh, healthy fruits as well as disease fruits. In that uh, we gone for uh, fr um, seed quality parameters testing, that is germination test EC uh, seedling vigor uh, index one, seedling vigor index two. In that uh, germination test, uh, the disease in disease seeds the germination percentage was less than that of the Indian minimum seed certification standards, and the EC uh, that means the electrical conductivity uh, uh, leachate test. Uh, uh, the disease seeds were showing more electric conduct, uh, conductivity because of the more seed leachates and in seedling we get index one and two uh, the index was uh, almost uh, doubled in the uh, uh, good seeds than compared to the disease seeds and these are the photos of a it is done good seeds and in our experiment we conducted uh, uh, in a field experiment we used uh, uh, trichoderma aragium viridae as well as telromyces with uh, seed treatment as well as combination uh, com uh, combination treatment as well as uh, uh, seed treatment uh, seedling dip and uh, uh, foliar spray and uh, um, uh, we also did uh, uh, enzyme estimation that is SOD and gutless. We know that uh, because of the infection in the seeds, there is a ROI bust in the uh, seeds. So, uh, to counteract this uh, oxidative stress, the uh, uh, seeds will produce SOD as well as gutless. SOD will convert the uh, uh, SOD will convert the uh, singlet oxygen into H2 water and H2 water is catalyzed by the catalysis and it will be converted into uh, H2O and O2. Uh, here in the disease seeds, the activity of the enzyme is double that we have observed. And coming to seed delta test, uh, the blotter test is the seed, uh, standard seed blotter uh, uh, test is the best method because here also we will come to know the internal seed infection also will come to know if it is uh, uh, germinated. So uh, seeds collected from the uh, uh, biological treatments from the field, it shows that in the control, the EC was very high than compared to the 
this T10 and T11 are the uh, with uh, trichoderma viride and hargeanum with the seed treatment, seedling dip as well as the foliar spray. It showed very less uh, easy as well as in germination tests also. In control, it is less than that of the Indian minimum seed certification standards because of the uh, more, more uh, incidence of the disease. And the seedling vigor index and vigor uh, index two also, it is uh, showed higher vigor, is, uh, vigor uh, index where we have used the biocontrol bio agents. And coming to the uh, disease severity also, uh, disease severity was very high in the uh, control uh, because of uh, no, no treatments. And in come to the uh, trichoderma viride and RGNM treated uh, seeds, uh, seedling tape as well as in foliar spray, their disease was very less. And coming to the dual culture, the trichoderma RGNM and uh, viride and telromesis, we used the three bio, uh, bio control. In that trichoderma viride and RGNM uh, were uh, effective. Uh, then compared to the trichoderma, uh, the, then compared to the telromesis, in telromesis in the uh, seventh day also, the growth was almost uh, uh, like this 50%, but only after after the 14 days that uh, telromesis will cover the entire plate uh, uh, in the entire plate, plate the action of this uh, is uh, due to production of the cartilaginous uh, cellulose as well as the the uh, lysis also causes the hyphal uh, abnormalities in the pathogen so that uh, our conclusion is that by using the bio agents uh, for the management of the disease we will get the quality seeds as well as the uh, quality fruit yield also in the field Thank you. Good. Okay, Thank there is a scope for one question, maybe a couple. Yeah. Any questions for him? Yes. How did you suggest uh, application, practical application of this bioagent in field? Yeah. Did you get my question? Balachandan, question is for you. You are oh, supposed sir. to respond. Yeah. Oh, did sir. you get... Uh, are you clear now? Just how we do you uh, suggest to apply these biocontrol agents in field? Means uh, we did the spraying, sir. 10 gram. In what, in what way? What ten, way? Ten, no? ten. Uh, spraying is uh, not a scientific uh, no, answer, you know. How how do you like to spray? Uh, suggest some farmers ask to apply these products in field. What would be your suggestion as a scientific expert? No, no, any sir. formulation you have made? We have no. Simply, yes, what is your your feature? How you are planning to apply these bio products in field? Simply, it's a very simple question. If sir, you are already sir, in, using, on the sir using sir using uh, this uh, talc formulation, uh, we can uh, use uh, around uh, ten gram per liter, and you can spray it in the field, sir. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll uh, thank you, uh, Balachandan, for coming. I'll call upon uh, Praveen. Praveen. Praveen is here. Praveen is here. Please unshare Balchan. Yeah, I think Praveen is not Balchan around. Balchan, unshare. Darshan, Darshan. Darshan, please. Darshan, please come on. Balchan, unshare your slides. Darshan is there. Yeah, Darshan is logged in. Darshan, please uh, upload your uh, presentation. Darshan? Yeah. Okay. Your video as well. Yeah, restrict your presentation in five minutes. Four, five slides, uh, four minutes, five slides, and one minute of question. Very good, um, to, good afternoon to delegates and all participants. Today, I am presenting the, my, my e poster on the topic Identifications and Profiling of Antifungal Metabolites of Pitomium Globosum against uh, Bipolaris Urakena causing spot blotch of uh, wheat. So, coming to introduction, uh, the Pitomium is a, a, one of the internationally recognized biocontrol fungus, uh, belongs to phylum Ascomycota. And it is having a potential biocontrol activity uh, and high adaptability in various uh, ecological conditions. It microprotecizes the pathogens and produces the various uh, antifungal metabolites, which suppresses the uh, number of plant pathogens. Among that, many were the seeds and soil bound pathogens. Despite the sufficient knowledge which is available on the secondary metabolites in Pitomium globosum, very limited literature is available on the active conditions and their potential activity of the antifungal activity is not yet very less reports are there. So with this, I have formulated, we have formulated the objective that this work was carried out to evaluate the chemical compositions and characterization of these antifungal metabolites from pitobium when interact with the phytopathogen fungus bipolaris or akiniana. In this case, the methodology which we followed is uh, when the fungus was grown in the liquid uh, uh, potato extract broth where the separately pathogen extracts were uh, taken and here the control 
only ketomium globosum and only crude extracts metabolites and also the in in interactions the ketomium globosum mycelia which is grown in the pterodactyls bath treated with the crude metabolites of this ds112 further the filtrations as was done but after filtrations the extracts were concentrated using rotary evaporators when once we got the crude extracts the crude extracts was dissolved with the methanol and sent it for the gcms and cms analysis and the chromatogram which showing the different uh, uh, compound which is detected at a different uh, retention time and these are the chemical compounds which is identified uh, in volatile compounds which is identified through gcms when searched with the libms library uh, in the interaction in interaction only the transdimonium axis dodecenes tetradecenes cyclohexadines heptacosanol these are the compounds which are only discussed in the interaction highly expressed in the interaction having the antifungal properties antifungal properties and these compounds when you constituted the majority of the compounds were belongs to alkenes groups and followed by oxygenated alcoholic groups further and we also proceeded to know the nonvolatile compounds by the uplc qtf of msms analysis by also identified the tentative compounds based on the peak and also molecular mass and adaptive peaks adaptive peaks and previous literatures the compound which are detected only in interactions like epiketoviridine ketamugilin ketoparitrin globoxanthin ketoviridin ketomin which is having high potential as a antifungal properties when interact with the bipolar isorectiana and further we did some image analysis to uh, correlate these metabolites when this in the figure eight showing the clear inhibitions due to Uh, ketomium and uh, bipolar isorectiana interactions, and here the pigmentation is due to the production of large metabolites by the ketomium, and the, because of this ketomium uh, glo- metabolites production, there is a clear mass plasmolysis uh, abnormality in the conidia when compared with the controls. And we also uh, uh, formulated the uh, methyl structures by using uh, surface. These are the important chemical structures of the uh, ketomium uh, compounds, which is expressed only in interactions. i would like to conclude my uh, e posters in such a way that this from this uh, the ketomium uh, gcms analysis uh, when interact with the interactions showing the number of compounds antifungal volatile compounds so which are uh, definitely involved in the uh, antagonistic antagonism and also the lcms analysis which shows that these compounds uh, uh, epiketoviridine globoxanthin ketoviridine ketomins ketomins were identified having the antifungal roles and this data which is also enriched the metabolic informations and also provides a good foundation for by control mechanism against this ketomium and these compounds can be used for future uh, particular purification of but particular compounds can be used in the future for the management of the plant pathogens in this way i would i acknowledge my uh, chairperson dr rashmi agarwal and uh, also pg schools it's okay it's okay i'm not thank you any questions for okay. dr uh, darshan Yes, sir. Uh, if if so, your first page of this, the Titan Titan. You see, identification and profiling of antifungal metabolites of ketoneum globosum. Yes, sir. Then I think effective against bipolar disorder causing spot brought up the weight. Yes, effective After against. Effective against. Okay, sir. You are identifying and profiling the compounds which are effective against bipolar disorder, isn't it? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, that was the technical uh, suggestion. You please incorporate. Darshan, whether the, whether the compounds were bio analyzed, sir? Bio assayed? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We will do, sir. Next, uh, the, the process we all we did some transcriptomic analysis and correlated the metabolic data with the transcriptomic analysis. Yeah, only Now, bio assay is important. We are purifying the compounds by using TLC and we are going for a particular compound purification. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you, um, Darshan. Uh, with that, we concluded the third theme. Uh, from the bio agents now i request uh, my co chairman uh, uh, dr tk uh, bark to conduct the fungal pathology posters there are five posters are there sir please take it forward sir but, uh, i will have the list with you i'll read out the name uh, rohit please no, no, rohit rohit already uploaded yeah i think uh, i think uh, kumar you do because uh, list is not printed out Okay. Sir, okay. List, okay. List is okay. List no problem. Good in it. No issues. No issues. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Rohit, keep your video on. Next person is Ganga Raj. Yeah. Keep your your video on and keep on time. The, in the meantime, Ganga Raj can keep your presentation ready. Yes, sir. And Shaili uh, Shaili uh, Javeria also can keep presentation ready. Yes, sir. 
and start now rohit please start good, good afternoon respected teachers myself rohit i am presenting on the topic germination behavior of different spores of ustelegenonia virens causing false mud disease of rice false mud is an emerging disease of rice and it is caused by caused by an ascomycetes fungus ustelegenonia virens earlier it was sporadic in nature but the but now the frequency of the disease has been increased and the disease occurrence may be up to 70% the disease turns the old grain into a blackish or yellowish spore ball the isolation of the pathogen is uh, slow using the smart balls because of the slow growing nature of the pathogen and the role or behavior of the different spores of the pathogen in the life cycle of the pathogen are also unknown our objective was to isolate the pathogen from smart ball samples collected from different parts of the country and also to study the germination of uh, different types of spores of the pathogen the to, the for the purpose of isolation of the pathogen the smart poles were uh, sterilized using 1% sodium hypochlorite and then washed with sterile water and they were cut into half and the spore dust from the inner part of the smart poles was dusted on the uh, potato sucrose agar medium and the use of potato sucrose agar medium for the isolation of the pathogen showed 80 to 85% success rate and in the figure it depicts the isolation technique of ustelegenin virens the different colored smart balls that is yellow or dark green were also used for the isolation the pure culture of the isolate forms the white dense white colony and the microscopical observation of conidia and chlamydospores Uh, confirmed the identity of the pathogen and the PCR amplification of the ITS region also confirmed that the isolated isolates are Ustelegenonia virens. In the graph, we can see that the uh, the effect of smart ball color on the isolation frequency. It is clearly seen that the use of yellow smart balls gave more than 80 percent success when compared to the dark green smart balls. The germination of different spores, that is, chlamydospores and conidia of Ustelegenonia virens, was assessed in different host part extracts of rice. The panicle, leaf, and stem stem parts of rice were weighed to 30 gram and the extract was prepared that and the spores from two different isolates that is varisa 1b which forms a green colored mycelium and sasarang which forms a white colored mycelium were taken to prepare the spore suspension and the germination was evaluated with water as control in the table it is clearly seen that the panicle and the stem extract stimulated the initiation of germination of the spores when compared to water or leaf extract after 96 hours of germination the maximum germination percentage of the chlamydospores in panicle extract was 66.10% and in stem extract was 66.03%. Whereas the maximum germination of conidia in panical extract was 66.67% and in stem extract was 55%. The germination of spores from spore suspension prepared from yellow and dark green smut balls was also assessed. The chlamydospores from yellow smut balls germinated after 48 hours of germination and attained a maximum of 84.21% after 96 hours. But the chlamydospores from the dark green smut balls showed germination only after 72 hours. And to know further about the behavior of the spores, the spore suspension of smut ball samples collect of three different years were evaluated for germination. And the year both yellow and and uh, green smart balls of three years were used. And with the following observations, it was clear that chlamydospores from yellow smart balls of the year 2018 and 2019 initiated germination after 24 hours, but it was, it was not the case for the smart ball samples collected in the year 2020. And after 96 hours, the maximum germination was 85.96% uh, in the spore suspension prepa prepared from smart balls of the year 2019. Whereas in case of the dark green smut balls, there was no initiation of germination in spore suspension of smut balls of year 2018 or 2019. But the smut ball samples of the year 2020 showed germination after 72 hours. In the figure, we can see the progress of germination of chlamydos chlamydospores. The figure A and B, that is after 24 hours of germination, we can see the initiation of uh, germination by formation of a uh, germ tube. And after 40, 48 hours in figure C and D, we can see the formation of uh, secondary conidia like structure and after 72 hours the formation of the number of secondary conidia increased in number and uh, the number was up to three in number then hereby i conclude my uh, presentation by saying that uh, the isolation of the pathogen was easier when the when young and yellow colored smut balls were used for isolation of the pathogen and it was all the uh, solution was also easier when potato sucrose agar was uh, agar medium was used with uh, with a success rate of 80 to 85 percent and the panicle and stem extracts of the rice rice host uh, stimulated the germination of the spores uh, of uh, of the pathogen and uh, the yellow smut balls which were older 
uh, that is uh, 2018 showed maximum potential of germination after uh, after 24 hours thank you okay i think i almost consumed this time now maybe one question anybody next person keep ready gangaraj yeah any question for him any any clarification serious problem now kumar this is uh, spreading uh, like a major problem in uh, southern states even in north sir oh, i'm sorry north kumar. east also yeah, yeah kumar, there is one question coming yeah. no no I, i am taking care now okay uh -huh. i printed out okay please yeah Yeah, okay. Gangaraj. Thank you, sir. Gangaraj. Are you there, Gangaraj? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already uploaded, yeah. Uploaded, yeah. 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 You can come on the screen also. We want to know who is making presentation also. Yes, sir. Is it visible, sir? any problem uh, gangaraj you can call upon next student you can come later also no problem it was okay there but what happened yes sir is it visible no 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 early it was no no your pen drive is visible can we uh, unshare can we can unshare you unshare. saw the result of your problem we'll call upon shaili now yes come yeah please start your presentation <laughs> yeah make it full screen presentation mode you give presentation mode oh, sir, it's uh, right side bottom mode. it's in presentation mode sir it's in presentation mode sir <laughs> okay you it's not <laughs> visible okay, present present no problem yeah okay proceed yeah. good afternoon to respected teachers Mom, myself rangraj i am presenting my research topic on this Single and combined effect of four cesarean species associated with Gava wilt. Gava on the severity of wilt disease. Gava wilt is the most destructive disease in causing the 30% yield loss with a disease incidence of 75% to 90% and the severity of 30 to 55% on infected plants in India. The symptoms produced by this wilt disease is, a, is a yellowing of the leaves, curling of the terminal branches, followed by the complete wilting are observed in the infected plants. It is a complex disease syndrome predominantly caused by the species of cesarean. proper identification and etiology of the gava wilt pathogen is not yet well established to manage the disease successfully here objective of the study is to isolation slide and slide is not moving yes, move slide slide is not moving you come to second one no sir Third first one, one only is a title you... slide no no ma'am it's uh... now so we are seeing only title slide your title slide is oh, visible oh. to us it is not in presentation mode you know Yeah, yeah. Right. that is yeah. why it's not moving kangaraj copy in no, a desktop no. and then again you desktop here. you copy on the desktop because you see yeah, pen drive yeah, yeah. Ah, sorry. now it's fine now, now it will be okay yeah fine yeah yeah, yeah okay. please my others uh, also yeah. keep your presentation ready okay objective of my presentation after objective of my research is isolation characterization of fusarian species associated with the gava wilt disease and to study the single and combined effect of fusarian species on disease severity of gava wilt Here we have uh, conducted a survey and uh, collected a sample. A total of 50 samples of root and soil samples were collected in the Gava field uh, from the eight states. We were isolated through serial dilution and grown on PDA medium. Here the picture depicts that the uh, complete wilting of the plant and the initial wilting symptoms in the second picture and the uprooted one in the last picture. The morphological molecular analysis we did. All all the collected isolates were morphologically identified through macroscopic. Uh, Colony color, pigmentation, and growth rate were uh, observed, and microscopic observations like shape and size of the macro and micro conidia, chlamydospores, and branching pattern were uh, observed. Translation elongation factor F1 region was used for the molecular identification, and the generated sequences was aligned using Schwarzschild <coughs> <Western coughs> W method and aligned through NCBA blast tool. 
Next type sequences were retrieved from the GenBank and used for construction of phylogeny for maximum likelihood analysis by Mega Seven version software. The pathogen for the pathogenicity assay, four species of isolated fusarium were inoculated singly and also in combination with three replications each. Three to four bits of fusarium species culture were inoculated into one year old layer plants. That is Alabad Safeda by stem cut and wound or inoculation technique. Coming to the result, under the survey, we have got the highest wilting of 79.55% was found in Alabad district of Uttar Pradesh on the variety Alabad Safeda, followed by 76% on the variety Barafkana at um, um, Rajasthan. The lowest of 20% was recorded on local variety uh, Nimbudara, Andaman, and Nicobar. For the characterization and identification, we have isolated 88, sam 88 uh, pure isolates of Fusarium. They were named as Fusarium Axisporum Paranopsis CD, Fusarium falciform, which is cryptic species of Solani, Fusarium Otis radius, and Fusarium Clematosporum. Then the maximum number of isolates were identified as uh, Fusarium Axisporum, followed by falciform, Otis radius, and Clematosporum. Among them, 32 isolates were further taken for uh, sequence analysis using a TEF1 uh, gene. We have got 650 base pairs and were analyzed through uh, NCB, after analyzing through, uh, after that, we have analyzed through NCBA blast. Sequences of similarity of 97 to 100 was found. Here we see the morphological characters. In the, in the first Fusarium axisporum, it is going to produce the white to violet color on the mice on the plate. And uh, the microconidia are non septate and oval in shape. Macroconidia are five, three to five septate in nature. Whereas in case of Fusarium falciform, it will going to produce the white, so white to salmon color in mycelium. And the macroconidia are produced on the long polyphyllides, and these are uh, five to seven separate in nature. Whereas the fusarium verticillate, it, it will go into uh, produce the uh, 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 macroconidia with uh, tapering at the ends, and microconidia with uh, club shape. And uh, sum up, Gangaraj, your time is up already. Sum up, please. Okay, sir. Uh, this one last. Single for the single and combined effect, we have done. Uh, we have got that uh, all the fusarium species with uh, oxysporum, falciform, oticillate, and clematosporum. Uh, we have got uh, highest disease wilt percentage of wilting symptom followed by fusarium, oxysporum, falciform, and oticillates. And uh, coming to the conclusion, disease incidence of Gava wilt found highest in Alabad, Safed, Alabad district of Uttar Pradesh. And fusarium species, uh, oxysporum, falciform, and clematosporum, and oticillates found associated with the Gava wilt. Uh, fusarium angusporum and fusarium falciform were dominant species of GABA wilt disease. Co inoculation of other species uh, produced the maximum disease severity, which were because of this uh, synergistic effect. Pathogenicity test of verticillitis and clamidosporum singly could not produce any wilting symptoms, implies that they were less virulent. In future, the intensive investigation on the etiology has to be further carried to manage the disease successfully, and translation elongation factor 1 alpha gene can be used for in the rapid detection of effective controller during the early stages. These are a few references. Thank you. Okay. I think no question. Yes. No, no, Gangraj, I have one inquiry. Ah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Chairperson. Uh, yes, Gangraj, when you were isolating um, from the Guava wilted plants uh, or you were uprooted, uprooting, the orchards. Did you come across uh, association of nematodes? Because there are many reports that uh, nematodes are also involved in uh, guava um, In reports, it, it is there, ma'am. But uh, actually, we have collected both soil as well as the root samples from the uh -huh. root zone. Uh -huh. But we couldn't get, means only the species we, we have noted here were got okay. no nematodes. So no nematodes, nothing, oh, huh? We, we didn't get anything. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now, Sally Jabaria. Good afternoon. Yeah, please proceed. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Sally Jabaria. The topic of my, of my presentation is management of sheet rot in paddy caused by Saracladium using combination approach. 
uh, rice is the second largest crop grown in the world in term of both area and production uh, it is a fun uh, fungal uh, seed rot caused by sarcoidea muraisi is an important seed, uh, seed borne fungal disease of paddy which becoming a major concern to the rice growing farmers in our country due to the introduction of high yielding and semi dwarf rice cultivar the seed rot pathogen of rice has become a major product Uh, production constraint in all rice growing countries of the world the availability of the sheet rot uh, pathogen both in seed and soil makes the condition much complex this is a symptom of uh, uh, sheet rot uh, examine on the field and this is a morphological structure of uh, sericlidum oryzae on potato dextrose agar and this is a microscopic uh, uh, microscopic view of sericlidum oryzae under compound microscope the met on uh, uh, the methodology methodology evaluate uh, to evaluate in vitro antagonistic activity of trichoderma herzianum pseudomonas fluorescens and bacillus subtilis by dual culture technique against sericlidum oryzae evaluate chemicals for their efficacy against sericlidum oryzae by food poison technique and in vivo mm-hmm. management of sheet rot mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. Slide. combination Slide. approaches Slide. these yeah. are the results yeah. which we found uh, on du- uh, dual culture techniques that bacillus uh, in compared to bacillus subtilis uh, with sericlidum oryzae ar- and pseudomonas uh, uh, nas fluorescens with uh, sericlidum oryzae we found sericlidum oryzae was controlled more by uh, pseudomonas fluorescens uh, as as compared to uh, bacterial uh, bio control agent and uh, the tacoderma herzianum within third day of uh, dual culture it cover up the complete colony of sericlidum oryzae in in vitro condition and as compared to the chemicals uh, using food poisoning technique we found uh, a trade uh, trade in, uh, ca- chemical saaf with combination of carbendazim and mancozeb carbendazim will 12% and mancozeb is 37.5% we found uh, best uh, uh, chemical to control sericlidum rhizi at 50 ppm uh, in minimum uh, ppm which is which is we take 50 ppm so these are the combination approaches which we uh, followed in our experiment uh, uh, different combination of uh, saaf vitavex carbendazim uh, and nativo with uh, as uh, as we uh, see in a chemical treatment details uh, nine different combination and one control in biological treatment details nine uh, pseudomonas fluorescens trichoderma herzianum and bacillus I'll come to results you know these people yeah, have yeah, seen it already to, i don't have to read it now yeah come to the results yeah uh, in in vitro uh, studies as uh, i already told that uh, saaf was uh, found better based on the kharif experiment uh, as a di- disease incidence was much higher in 2019 as compared to 2018 in a controlled one but in uh, treatment 7 which is a chemical treatment which is a combination of uh, um, carbendazim mancozeb seed treatment with seedling treatment and with a uh, uh, two spray of nativo which is uh, trifloxytrobin and tuberculosole was found much better in both the years and in uh, disease incidence of uh, uh, sericlidum uh, after biological uh, treatment of both two uh, uh, seasons we found pseudomonas fluorescens is the uh, is a much better and effective uh, bio control agent to uh, uh, to inhibit the uh, disease in the field Can you time up yeah you come to the last slide yield of uh, yield of uh, sericlidum yield of uh, uh, sorry yield of uh, pusa sugand 5 we found that treatment chemical treatment again t7 which is uh, combination which is a combination of uh, uh, saaf is found much better and in the biological control also we found sericlidum oryzae was much uh, uh, sorry pseudomonas fluorescens was much better to control the disease in field also thank you okay, that's up any next the time is up that's up yes sir any any question next is um, so just wondering um how does the pathogen survive you know from season yeah there is one question yeah yeah yes yes please 
The question is how the pathogen survives. Yeah. Ah yes. Yeah. How pathogen survives? As this is seed and soil borne pathogen, so uh, it is there in a seed also, in an and in a soil also. So it survives in a seed itself and in a soil also. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. Venkatesha is there, Venkatesha? No. <laughs> so, Sunil, I'm not. Yes, sir. Shall we move, move to the next? Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you start. Ready? Uh, ready, sir. Make it full screen. Presentation mode. Yeah. Your time start now. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Sunil Jadav from Department of Science and Technology. Today I am presenting my e-post presentation on the topic Management of the Future Will Tackle Lentil under the in vitro condition using the combination approach. Uh, the lentil is one of the major crops in the India and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, it is commonly known as a masur. So the lentil is majorly grown in the, uh, the uh, producing states like uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, UP, Bihar, Uttarakhand, and the Bengal. And uh, the total area under the, the lentil in India is 1.41 million hectares, and with the production of the 1.31 million ton. And uh, the productivity of the lentil is 700,000 kg per hectare. So, among the diseases the, uh, in the lentil, the fissure remedy is one of the diseases. It is caused by the fissure axis for other species, lentils, and, uh, and uh, it is a seed borne disease. The, the fissure will uh, the disease appears in the field in the patches at the both seedling and adult stage, and it uh, it causes the yield loss up to the uh, fifty percent. If the disease uh, uh, the uh, in India, if the in that natural condition, if the yield incidence can reach up to the fifty to seventy percent, and it also causes up to the hundred percent. By reducing uh, the, uh, the all this. Uh, uh, the 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 yield losses. So uh, in the uh, in my PhD work, I took the. Uh, uh, the uh, the management of the wild diseases by using the different by using different chemicals and the biocontrol agents. Before going, we conduct the experiment in the field. We have identified the efficacy of the chemicals and the biocontrol bio agents in the uh, in the, in the lab in the in vitro condition. So I, I, for this experiment, we took the, uh, the seven different chemicals with the with the different combi products. Like in that we. Use the metallurgy plus macrogeps and carbonation plus serum, captain plus hexagonal, tetrachloride plus trichloride, carbonation plus macrogeps, captain plus copper acetate, and serum plus carbonation. So, and by by uh, the by to identify the effectiveness of these uh, these chemicals, we use the poison code techniques with the uh, by using the different uh, uh, concentrations, the six concentrations, and uh, we evaluated the biocontrol agent by using the neuropathic technique of the three different biocontrol agents like tetrachloride, tetrachloride, and the pseudomonas species. And uh, the, in the uh, and the result, we found that in the inverted relation of the against the fissure axis for lentils in the in the in the in the in uh, dual culture techniques, we found that in this experiment we took the uh, six different cultures in the different states like in UP, Delhi, Rajasthan, Bihar, Chandigarh, and we identified that the efficacy, the effectiveness of uh, the uh, the percentage moisture inhibition growth was highest in the in this uh, in the biocontrol than trichoderma as compared to the pseudomonas and tetromyces. And compared to uh, in the tetromyces species, pseudomonas are showing the uh, the the percent inhibition was more as compared to tetromyces species. And this is the graphical representation of the uh, the different uh, uh, bio uh, biocontrol agents like the trichoderma as showing the highest percentage inhibition as compared to the other two uh, the biocontrol agents. And this is the uh, we took the uh, the uh, 
the, uh, the result after the eight days and uh, here the, this is the uh, the picture uh, this is the uh, picture of the trichoderma species rhodomonas and the trichoderma species uh, their percentage inhibition of the mycelial growth as compared to the control group and uh, the next the chemical uh, we, yeah your time is up come to conclusion okay, please in chemicals uh, we use uh, come to okay. conclusion uh, okay sir by using the different chemicals the chemicals by uh, the uh, uh, Tebuconazole plus trichotomidine is showing the higher percent inhibition of the mitral growth uh, uh, in the uh, by 100 ppm onwards as compared to the other treatments. And this is the graphical representation of the, chemi the different chemicals used in that the uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the treatment tebuconazole plus trichotomidine that is netovo is showing the highest inhibition percentage as compared to the other treatments. And this is the uh, the picture it's showing the, uh, the the treatment only showing the good result in the the, the treatment for that is tibucanadol plus tyrosine showing the uh, in all the concerns showing the good uh, uh, the percent from mycelial growth was less uh, is hundred percent mycelial inhibition. Okay, sir. Trichoderma by using biopolymer that trichoderma showing the good uh, uh, good for the both uh, lab and the, uh, the lab condition and in chemical it tibucanadol plus tyrosine having the good. Thank you, sir. I think since the time is up, I think we'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Next is Lambda. Venkatesh is here. Venkatesh. Venkatesh is around. Yeah, I think uh, with that, we concluded the fourth uh, thematic area, that is fungal pathology. Now we'll move on to the last one, that is fungi and nanotechnology. I think uh, Dr. Prakash. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, please proceed. Yeah, please carry it forward, please. Yeah. yeah sure. Sure. Thank you. Long. You can. Okay, sir. Is my screen visible, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Screen is visible. Go to presentation mode, please. A very good evening to all of you. I am Namdurji, a student of uh, plant pathology in the division of uh, plant. Uh, Pathology uh, in, in the Agriculture I, Research I, Institute. Uh, as we are well aware that the use of chemical pesticides in agriculture uh, very detrimental effect on the environment and uh, moreover, whatever agrochemical is used in the agriculture eventually ends up. Kindly uh, unmute so all, please. Eventually ends up in the soil and it's affect the non-target organism and uh, also affect the soil biota and affects its biological activity. So uh, keeping this in mind, uh, in this study, we have attempted to synthesize copper nanoparticle by using two different methods called biological method and chemical method. Further, the synthesized copper nanoparticle was evaluated for its efficacy against the two pathogenic bacteria, namely Arvinia cortovara and Rastronia solanaceum. And further, uh, effect of the synthesized copper nanoparticle was uh, studied on soil enzyme activities, uh, major seed germination and mass sending character. Mm -hmm. About the synthesis of copper nanoparticle by biological method for this uh, biopolis medis was uh, exploited by extracting its supernatant and uh, four different concentration of copper sulfate was used and uh, the copper surface solution and the supernatant was mixed, optimizing the ratio. And further, it was incubated at 28 degrees Celsius by incubating at 150 RPM. For the chemical synthesis, sodium borohydrate was used as a main reducing agent, complemented by the ascorbic acid, and polyethylene glycol 8000 was used as a stabilizing agent. And further, the characterization was done by uh, UV spectroscopy, TEM, and FTIR. Uh, evolution of the efficacy was uh, done uh, by using concentration of 10 to 100 ppm quantitatively in a nude board. A study of soil enzyme activities and mass linking character was done in the net condition and the lab condition, respectively, in a port medium. And uh, mass linking character was uh, uh, studied on uh, using a uh, cotton as a substratum. Coming to the result, uh, <clears throat> is the foremost uh, indication of uh, formation of a nanoparticle. In our study as well, we have observed the change of color from the transparent to uh, brown color. And uh, with the increase in the reaction time, we have observed a progressive increase in the characteristic peaks and the absorption peaks were observed at 360 and 380 nanometer by using the UV in this spectroscopy. And the transmission electroscopy, transmission electroscopy microscope revealed the copper nanoparticle of size 27 to 150 uh, nanometer in case of the biological method, 15 to 75 nanometer in case of the chemical method. And FTIR spectrum reveals two different bands which correspond to the NH stretching of amide. And possibly this amide group respond, is responsible for the reduction of a nanoparticle as well as stabilizing the nanoparticle uh, synthesized in the, uh, the biological method. Further, we observe that the two different concentrations, uh, 20 ppm and 30 ppm, were, were very much uh, effective and it 
showed a significant reduction in the growth of uh, Erwina cortovara and Rastrinus solanaceum respectively. As we can see from the photograph, with the increase in the concentration of the copper nanoparticle, the turbidity of the uh, culture decreases. And for the further confirmation, we calculate the CFU uh, colony, colony forming unit as well. And we, as we can see from the table, with the increase in the concentration of the nanoparticle, the colony <laughs> forming unit decreases. So coming to the enzyme activities, soil enzyme activities, uh, the soil enzyme activities were carried out in a duration of a 30 days and uh, reading was taken on the first 15 and the 30th day. And on the 15th on the day, it was observed that the dehydrogenase activities and alkaline phosphatase activities were increased abruptly. And subsequently it was decreased to 30 days. On the other hand, the urease activity, there was no significant increase in the urease activity. <clears throat> Further, uh, coming to my, uh, uh, coming to this, uh, effect on the seedling characters, it was observed that the seed stated with the copper nanoparticle showed 100% germination and the seedling characters which were taken under the consideration which number of root seedlings, shoot lens, root lens and fresh weights and dry weights all were enhanced by the treatment of the nanoparticle on two different varieties that we had used, CM500 and CM501. Uh, coming to the conclusion, uh, uh, from our study, we I can conclude that copper nanoparticle that we had synthesized uh, were found to be very much effective against the two different bacteria under the consideration under this study. And uh, copper nanoparticle rendered increase in the soil enzyme activities uh, <clears throat> rather than having an inimical effect on it. Therefore, we can conclude that it doesn't have any adverse effect on the soil microbial communities. Uh, moreover, the copper nanoparticle in this study was proven to be advantageous on the mage, uh, having uh, no adverse effect on the mage seedlings. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, any questions? Lam uh, yeah, the, have you any idea about any uh, commercial, uh, this uh, copper-based nanoparticle already in the market for any bacterial disease is available? No, sir. There are some uh, silver-based nanoparticles available in the market. So they are sold by the name Acuracil and Silvox, so mostly used in the European so far, sir. Mm. Yes, so, so far, copper-based uh, copper nanoparticles are not available or not applied commercially. Sir. Yeah, uh, so as per my knowledge, uh, I haven't come across any okay. uh, commercial copper yeah, particle. Yeah. Silver are widely available, so more okay. studied. Yeah. Thank you. Georgi, yeah. another question. I have one yes, question. Sir, please, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, yes, please, sir. Please, sir. Uh, now, you can share your slides, uh, Lam. Yeah. Your, your, your nanoparticles, your yes. nanoparticles is biosynthesized or chemically synthesized? So we did the synthesis by both the ways, sir, biologically as well as the chemicals. Sir. Mm. What? What you are using? So, so in this study, sir, I'm showing the chemically synthesized nanoparticles effects on the different uh, aspect that I have shown, sir. Mm. I, I think the copper copper nanoparticles is available in your northeast India. But I don't think so. It is commercially used so far. Attend your call, sir. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well. Okay, next two people are not around. I think we'll call Dinesh. Dinesh. I think you got the information, right? Dinesh? Sir, yes, I got the information. Last person is Dinesh. I am yeah, Dinesh. Yeah, please. Yeah. Dinesh, you are. Yes. Yeah, please upload. Anju and uh, Chaitanya both uh, they joined. Oh. Oh. My slide is visible. Yes, yes. yes, visible. Yeah, please start. You are losing yes. time already. Yeah. Respected sir, respected madam and my dear friends, very good afternoon to all of you. Title of my presentation is Microwave Synthesis of Nova Ferrocinite Charcoal and Their Evaluation Against Sclosium Rubsi in Tomato. I am not saying, but is the true charcoal and their derivative having so many biological activity, it having the antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and nematicidal activity due to their highly reactivity. Alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl moiety in the charcoal. Though charcoal exhibits so many biological activities, but not exploring that extent in the agrochemical as well as the pharmaceutical sector. What is the problem or what is the drawback? 
The major problem is the poor water solubility. Through this project, we develop the product containing the chalcon moiety as well as the group that is ferrocene, which improve the water solubility of ferrocene chalcon. We synthesize the ferrocene chalcon using the acetyl ferrocene with the different combination of benzene dialed in the ethanol KOH by the micro method as well as the conventional method. Likewise, we synthesize the ferrocene chalcon using the ferrocene carboxyl dye with the different combination of acetophenone in ethanol KOH. After the synthesis, we characterize various techniques. This is an MR spectra of the uh, compounds, and it, it was showing the characteristic peak of the double doublet with the J value of 16. And after the synthesis, we compare the reaction time in microwave method as well as the conventional method. We found that the in micro method, the reaction time was the one to five minutes, but in comparison of the conventional method, is the 10 to 40 hour. That was very weak as compared to micro method. Same trend was found in the second series. After the in, uh, synthesis, we go for the in vitro antifungal activity using the PDA media by the frozen food technique. After screening of the compound, we found the 3O compound. There are two six dichlor found most active against the explosion of time. Likewise, the second series, after screening of the compound, we found the six compound was most active against the spectrum. And uh, based on the in vitro result, we conducted the cortex mat in the net house under the of plant pathology. And you can see in the 3B compound was more effective as compared to the 3O and the 6O with the respect to the three concentration. Likewise, the root dipping method was carried out, same as soil drenching, but we found that the soil drenching method was very effective as compared to the root dipping methods. Now, first attempt to synthesize a series of ferrocene chalcon using the microwave methods. The study was the uh, was quick and the green compared to conventional because the in the reaction time the one to five minutes as compared to the conventional method that was the ten to forty hour and the in a less solvent is used for the in the micro method. The disease incident was found minimum in the plant treated with the three B at the rate thousand ppm. Also, that soil drenching method effective as compared to the root dipping. I sincerely acknowledge my chairperson, member of advisory committee, division of agriculture chemical, division of plant methodology, PG school ICR IRE. I sincerely thanks to Department of Science and Technology, Science Engineering Research Board, PI Industry, CIE, for giving this prestigious Prime Minister for the Dr. Research. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think his presentation is up. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if no questions, then uh, I think we have come to the conclusion of uh, the poster session. Uh, uh, there were uh, 21 uh, entries, out of which only 16 of them could 16. make it. And uh, uh, it was a good number. Uh, 16 out of 21 is, uh, is a very good number. I think there's a good competition. And judges will have tough time now because uh, most of the students did a very nice presentation. They, most of them stuck onto the time and a very, uh, uh, very beautiful presentation with uh, 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 solid conclusions uh, that shows really their interest and uh, uh, their communication was very good. Overall, uh, it, was a, it was a good session. I'm sure the audience might have enjoyed uh, the scientific uh, poster session, what was uh, uh, going on from 2.30 onwards. So, uh, I, uh, Dr. Bagi is around. Any observations, any comments? Yes, uh, no comments. Everybody's presentation is very good, but a few were uh, not properly ready. They did, did not keep the trial before coming here. So time exit. Otherwise, most of them presented well. Um, very good. And congratulations who will be <laughs> getting this. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, so, second, uh, Masaraj, uh, any observations, yeah. any comments, uh, Prakash? Ah, that's comments? all, sir. Uh, mm. That's all, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think with that, uh, I thank my co-chairman and the two rapporteurs for assisting us in conducting this important session. Uh, it is for uh, most most of the uh, students, and uh, it was a very very beautifully um, delivered session. So uh, I leave the floor to organizers for uh, uh, <laughs> taking meeting forward. But in the meantime. I request uh, the uh, judges to send the results directly to the organizers for uh, uh, the, the scorecard or evaluation, uh, whatever uh, they have been provided with. Uh, please share your results with the organizers. So anything else, uh, Dr. Pramila, Deepa? Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh, yeah. Sir, we, we, another session is going on. It will take five minutes to complete the session. 
So yeah. after uh, uh, maybe seven minutes, we'll start the validity function. Okay, right. Thank you. So we formally yes, conclude this poster session. And um, I thank all the uh, speakers and uh, all the participants and my team who really uh, worked with, uh, very nicely since last two days and uh, organizers for giving us an opportunity. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you so much. We'll, we'll continue the same link for this link for validity function. Thank this you. Link. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Diva, I have sent uh -huh. uh, in your uh, WhatsApp, huh? Okay. Oh.
हेलो हाँ क्या कर रहे हैं रजत जी अच्छा आ, कल मैं गया था तो कल शाम को बाई चांस से मुलाकात हुई थी हाँ हाँ तो बात हाँ तो बता रहे थे
हेलो मैम स्टार्ट करो वेलकम टू द वैलिडिटी अमृता पहले एक बार सबको बोल दो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम यस हेलो नाउ वी हैव कम टू द एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम टू द वैलिडिटी फंक्शन एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर लिसनिंग फॉर इंस्पायरिंग फॉर एनकरेजमेंट फॉर बीइंग हियर एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम एंड मेकिंग योर प्रेजेंस नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर रश्मि अग्रवाल dean joint director education and head division of plant pathology iri for the welcome address thank you dr amrita uh, and uh, i welcome all of you uh, to this valedictory function which is the end of the one day uh, daily zone chapter symposium organized by indian phytopathological society uh, first of all i would like to uh, welcome uh, professor s r niranjan Uh, professor injana was uh, here he joined uh, this um, zonal symposium uh, and he was there throughout the day in spite of his busy schedule and he had some other commitment so we are so thankful to dr niranjana and also sir we are whole heartedly uh, we welcome you to this valedictory function uh, to be Thank here you. and uh, addressing us thank you i would also like to welcome professor uh, jalali sir 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 is there i hope he, he is there uh, i welcome dr jalali also for his uh, all through support and uh, um, critical uh, uh, views and guiding us all uh, i would like to welcome uh, all uh, ips uh, officials secretary and other office bearers and uh, Uh, president dr pramila devi and uh, secretary dr diva kamil and uh, amrita and all other uh, scientific staff of division of plant pathology and i see many others uh, who have joined although it is uh, end of the whole uh, symposium but uh, very enthusiastically i know the students and other participants they must have been waiting for the results to be announced for um, poster presentation for narsimhan context and also for uh, aps travel grant so um, with these words once again i welcome all of you and uh, i would like uh, uh, professor niranjana to give his address but before that i'll hand over the mic to amrita das dr amrita you can proceed thank you madam function thank you yeah thank you uh, now i would like to request uh, dr robin gogoi secretary ips to share the glimpses of ips delhi zone virtual symposium तो प्लीज रिपीट ऑन सगेन अच्छा मैंने वो चेक करने के लिए गया था रनिंग for inviting me to um, highlight few glimpses really uh, being secretary uh, in the phytopathological society i am very happy to see the whole program 
it started in the right time in the morning and uh, uh, the uh, general president and uh, general uh, councillor along with the team. So they were very nicely organized. They could uh, just invite very nice speakers. Uh, this, uh, most importantly, our very known mycologist, uh, Dr. C. Manohar Sarisar. And so there I could see the participation from very uh, this uh, noble plant pathologist like Dr. Anupam Verma, Dr. Um, uh, this, uh, Jalali sir, and uh, uh, that way, um, Dr. P.K. Chakraborty, uh, despite of his very much uh, engagement in the routine and uh, work, so he could able to uh, this, uh, give time uh, being secret, uh, president of uh, Indian Phytopetal Society. And the way, uh, so you are able to contact both uh, uh, lead talk, uh, then also uh, invited talk, and so the competitions among the students and the young scientists. So it is really very good uh, effort you could make. So on behalf of this Indian Phytopetrolical Society, I would like to thank uh, both of you, Dr. Uh, Pramila and Dr. Deepa, and also their team. And uh, so far, very successfully, three zones uh, could complete uh, their journal symposia. Uh, firstly, on the first and second uh, December, Southern Zone could do it. And uh, in the second, uh, uh, this uh, team was from Northeast. So on uh, 7th and 8th December, they completed. And today, you were able to just complete this uh, journal symposium. So it is most likely a national symposium. Uh, even though it is Delhi zone, comparatively a very small one. So the participation, total number of participants, really very encouraging. And since uh, uh, the link for this today's meeting also, this uh, today's symposium also, uh, circulated to all the members of our society. So that's why many people from other zones also could able to join. So this is a very good sign. And I hope so you'll continue your cooperation to this society so that uh, we can fulfill and we will be able to complete all the supposed responsibility uh, this, um, this um, bearing by this society uh, that can uh, successfully you can complete. And, uh, and one more thing I want to mention here so since uh, for the first time we are going to hold the uh, entire this uh, executive committee election of this society is on online mode. So that line for the nomination of the candidate already opened on the last uh, 7th December. And for award application also, actually we targeted to uh, this uh, open from today, but because of some technical issue, we couldn't do. So anyway, within two or three days, we'll be opening the link so that the uh, the, my interested uh, this, uh, persons can apply for the award, which is instituted from this society. So hopefully uh, within two or three days, we'll be opening the link. So, and also uh, I would like to declare that today, uh, the third zone uh, completed the, uh, this journal symposium. But we are planning to hold the national symposium. So in the mid-March, that is from 11th to 13th March, 2021. For that, we have already started the processing and uh, we applied uh, to uh, ICR for permission to hold this meeting. Of course, this, will, the, uh, this national symposium will also be uh, held in virtual mode. So we'll definitely try to may, make a wider circulation and uh, we'll try to contact the members of our society who are uh, from outside India also. Means in addition to the delegates from India, so from abroad also we'll try to just, uh, attract the plant pathologist, uh, means across the world. And uh, it's a very nice occasion to uh, be associated with you today. So, and uh, thank you once again for conducting uh, this uh, meeting. 
this uh, symposium uh, in a this, uh, very meticulous way and it, uh, you were able to make it grand success. And uh, I want to just mention the title so, so that uh, so far we have not uh, this, uh, uploaded the circular for the uh, national e-conference. The title we have made is Plan Health and Food Security Challenges and Opportunities. Plan Health and Food Security Challenges and Opportunities. That will be this uh, held uh, from 11 to 13th March 2021. And interestingly, in that, uh, we are keeping uh, 10 uh, technical sessions, teams, not uh, sessions, uh, teams. So one of the team we have added, which will be so out of slight, uh, slightly out of trend. So that uh, the team number nine, impact of COVID-19 on Indian agriculture. We hope in that team, some of the presentations will be getting, uh, particularly on the delivery system, export import hindrance, then labor crisis, production system, etc. We hope so you will extend your cooperation to make our this national e-conference also a grand success. So at last, I once again, thank you all the participants and viewers present at this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, may I now request Dr. S. R. Niranjana, former Vice Chancellor Gulbarga University, Karnataka for the valedictory address. Good evening, all of you. Dr. Ashmi Agarwal, Madam. Professor Jalali sir, Professor Anupam Arma, Professor P.K. Chakravarti, and uh, Secretary of the Society of Inbubai, and others who are participated in the meeting. Today I thought that uh, let me attend the whole meeting of the whole day after many days. I think we are all become sick because of uh, this pandemic. And really this online uh, mode is uh, helping us to interact with each other in the country. So I thank the society for giving me an opportunity to give the valedictory address. Though I have not prepared myself, but still I can make out the how people are active. Some, some fever has gone back and uh, people have come out to interact with the online mode. Few days back, there is a South Zone meeting. Few days back, there is a South Zone meeting. And uh, there is uh, a very big spark in the theme of the a South Zone conference. And very good presentations by the uh, students. Even though the a lockdown period, the students are away from the laboratory. For seven, eight months, they have not entered the laboratory. Even now also, they are not able to enter the laboratory. But still, yeah. they have put their effort in making their own way of learning the a plant pathology. Today, the whole lecture I heard since the beginning from the keynote lecture by Professor Manarachari, and especially the Madam Silpa, she has given the very wonderful lecture of the bioactive compound from the a biological control agents. So we are advancing, we are not keeping quiet. See, this is the period, one, one thing I would like to tell to everybody. The situation made the country to search for the scientists for the pandemic disease. Scientists are never given the importance of the in this country. The whole government was searching for the scientists for this pandemic disease. So that same thing is happened to our plant pathology now. The pathogens we are searching for the scientists, whether scientists are working for the a field or not, that is the one thing that we should, we should understand. Now we keep on working. Whether this corona is equal to other viral diseases also, we are seeing the viral diseases since from the beginning. Once the viral uh, disease of human 
now everybody is cautioned because of this bio war or the biological war it made us all of us into very a pathetic condition and panic in this situation i saw today in the morning the students are presented their papers but of course the organizers have not given much time for them it is difficult for the plant pathologists to explain their work in 4 minutes so that 4 minutes they are able to do it whatever they have done in a very precise manner in their objectives and work plan and results and posters also and also the narsimhan award uh, lectures also they are very precise and they have given and this virtual meeting now right just now the secretary has announced we are going for the virtual meeting in the month of march definitely it will help the whole country to interact there is no doubt because now the gadget of a new has established everywhere and all the universities have put the a webcam in their laboratory and the classrooms and laboratories so that everybody can listen this the webline lectures there is no doubt in that one but now this is the time another uh, a year or so we don't know when we are coming out from this pandemic we don't know even country doesn't know that now we are knowing that the other countries are locked down in second lockdown is happening in europe second lockdown happening in germany the lockdown is happening in usa and we are we don't know the future what is will happen in our country and we are waiting for the period but still we have to work this journal a six journal a chapters they have done their job very well i am trying to attend the, the all the journal meeting and i think all the journal meetings are very remarkably they are making their effort in uh, contributing to the society or the presenting of papers and communicating to the uh, scientists who are in the area of plant pathology and then the delhi center is the one is the nodal center to direct all the journal centers how to function in future for one year two year three year we don't know when we are come to offline we don't know so as long as we are on the virtual line the center of delhi especially the secretary of ips has to direct all the journal center how to work for the society to go further by putting their effort in continuing the research research cannot be stopped now the universities are open the doors for research students they can come with their covid certificate all the sanitization has taken place in the university and all the governments are working as per the ugc guidelines and ugc has given the very nice guidelines for the students and teachers and the teachers are tested for covid students are tested for covid there is no panic in that one and very every students are come out without any panic with their covid test they can continue their education otherwise in this situation education become the complete declining last one year primary education middle education and even higher education except research and this is declining because of the lack of students and panic now students are come out admissions are taken place online mode teaching has been started of course many comments are there online teaching is not effective online teaching is not going to be useful online teaching is not available to everybody because many of the students many of the teachers are in the rural area they don't have electricity they don't have a computer they don't have nothing mobile and online teaching online communication will not reach to them that slogan will exist in this country forever as long as the government is making a such an effort to provide such an the facility for the rural area such a facility for the universities and they are lacking behind to listen the online definitely i would like to make a statement at this hour is offline mode is effective than the online there is no doubt but because of this situation we have to adopt the online teaching online research online communication online publications so everything has to done as long as this covid pandemic is there in this country as well the world so this is the situation of this one with this situation and many of you you have at least now we are working this group of the scientists and the society we are still active with this pandemic also 
Many of the scientists I talk to in this different contest, and everybody is active in their work and publishing papers. So many papers have come in 2020 on the plant pathology. You can see the uh, uh, scopus or the uh, Google, and number of papers have come out by the students. And lot of book chapters has come out. And lot of uh, the pathology chapters are contributed to international books. So that shows we are working even at home. Not only the companies, we are working at home so that the society is doing very well. And with this remark, this today presentation, I think I congratulate the journal president and the journal counselor, especially Madam Pramila Devi and uh, the secretary of Google is in headquarter and they have contributed a lot to the even one day, one day the seminar, even if you have to make it two day, people are very free to listen to the uh, uh, online uh, seminars and online webinar today. Even if you keep some papers tomorrow also, it can be done. But you can give more interaction. But you are restricted for one day, it's okay. But you are given the opportunity for uh, see some people and they are presented. And I congratulate the journal president and journal counselor of the Delhi zone and others who are supported you, including Rashmi Madam and the uh, Dinesh Singh and the secretary Raju and all. Everybody is joined together and especially Vasaraj YB, I think he has not gone out from the chair. I am seeing that since morning he is sitting in the chair. Whether he has gone for lunch or not, I don't know. But that is the interest what I am seeing with the scientists from since from morning to evening. And it is a good. And only the, my communication to the students who are doing research, you are getting the facilities full now. Don't be under panic. You go and work. Only thing is you have to maintain the rules and regulations and cautions, isolation, maintaining isolation and wearing masks and listen to your seniors and teachers what are they are telling and follow the directions of the government and work yourself. Nothing wrong in working in the laboratory and isolate yourself and work yourself. So this is only the message from my side. And with this, I wanted to finish my well victory address. And I congratulate once again for the Delhi Zone people for organizing such a wonderful one day a symposium for the plant pathologists. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you, sir. Uh, so now we request you to announce the results of this uh, um, poster presentation. Yeah, sir, it is there in your WhatsApp. And uh, also the MJ Narsimhan Award and uh, APS uh, Travel Award. given all the first second third. yes sir uh, there are uh, five themes sir yeah. oh, so in each theme we have to give the prizes sir so in the uh, theme one two three four five in all the cases we will have three prizes one, sir one, let me announce first uh, mj nursing yeah. and aps okay sir that, that uh, you have given uh, yeah, uh, sir. mj nursing award what is that you have given chart here i could not understand Sir, names are there, no, sir. Against the names, we have given the number. MJ Narsimhan Award, one or all? All MJ, no, sir. Six, six presentations under MJ. We have to nominate two. We have to no, select two out of these. So only two will be announced. Only two to announce. highest scorers will go. Only two. Sir, one and two. You just announce one and two, sir. One and two. Uh, huh. Highest yes, scorer, sir. top two. But APS Award also in this one. Ah, the That's last one, sir, there is only only one presenter was there, sir. Only one was there. And that will be announced. Jagmohan Singh. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is uh, it's, uh, automatically. It's the APS yeah. awarder. Yes, sir. MJ okay. Narsiman is uh. Sajid Nabi is the first. Sajad. Sajad, 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 Sajad Nabi. Yes, sir. The first. And the uh. second one is Darshan K. Yes, sir. Second. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Then another one is uh, that uh, which one is the, this one? Poster, sir. Poster. Uh, first team. First three, eh? Team one. Team one. Team, uh, sir. Team Thematic one. areas. Team uh. one. Uh. Team one. Uh. First one is uh, Priya. Priya. Second one is uh, Devendra Pa. Third one yeah. is RS Topo in the first team. 
दर्शन के Second is Balachandra Balachandran Gowda, and the third is Chaitra M. Yes, sir. Then fourth is Fungal Pathology. Rohit M is the first, and the Ganga Raj R is second, and third is Chaini Javeria. Sir, Chaini. Okay. And the fifth one is Fungal and uh, the Nanotechnology. Uma Lam Lam sir Lam Darji sir. is the first and Dinesh K Yadav is second. Only two yes, is sir. there in the last team. Yes sir. And these are all the winners. I congratulate all of them for your awards in poster presentation and as well as APS and MJ Narasimhan award. Thank you very much. थैंक यू थैंक यू सर मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर दीवा कामिल जोनल काउंसिलर आई पी एस डेली जोन को ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेक्रेटरी टू प्रोपोज द वोट ऑफ थैंक आई डोंट थिंक सो इज देयर सर जलाली सर इज नॉट हियर No, he is not. We were searching. No, he was not there. Not earlier also. He is not here, ma'am. No, we were thinking he should be there, but he is not there. Okay, right, right, right. From senior so, members, I can see Dr. Go Madhuban Gopal. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, you are there, sir, right. Dr. Madhuban. I saw one of your uh, comments also that you would like to listen to lead lecture. Is he still there, Dr. Madhuban? वेलकम I think he is very able to ask for uh, yes uh, the special lectures which have been conducted yeah yes yes led the uh, society for doing it so well under supervision mm. of dr rashmi agrawal thank you sir welcome it was nice to see you okay now back to dr deepa yes ma'am so first of all uh, i want to congratulate all the awardees as well the awardees uh, Two percent who is going for engineer Suman and APS. Uh, finally, we are end uh, with this uh, one day symposium, Delhi Zone virtual meeting, and uh, I am really delighted uh, to say thanks to all. First of all, our honourable chief guest, distinguished guest, very senior IPS member, IPS secretariat, organising and technical committees, and division of plant pathology staffs and scientists. Uh, First of all, I am very thankful to Dr. S. Aniranjana, a former Vice Chancellor, Gulbarga University, Karnataka, for your kind acceptance to be a chief guest of the validity function and your valuable suggestions given us a lot of eye-opening ideas for the future research and organization organizing the symposium. I am very, very thankful to our dean, John Director Education, Dr. Rashmi Agarwal, ma'am, of your presence throughout the program. that will give us a lot of encouragement and your valuable suggestion all the way to conduct this ips delhi zone virtual symposium successful thank you so much ma'am i am really thank uh, very thankful to dr robin gogoi sir uh, to be a mentor or is all the support he give uh, for this uh, uh, meeting and uh, which make us to able to do this uh, symposium successful i'm very very thankful to our seniors who was there throughout the 
program since they are not here now but they are there up to i think 4 or 4:30 dr jalali sir was there dr sc dubey was sir was there and many uh, dr madhuban gopal sir are there <coughs> dr divakar bhavkandi sir is for full time he is there in the program celia ma'am are there so i want to thank kasaran sir kk mandal sir all our seniors who is there throughout the program dr barnawal sir and especially i uh, want to thank you and all the staff for division of plant pathology who are there for throughout this program uh, especially the thanks goes to ips secretary dr kk mandal dr malkhan and mr raju for their all support whatever they have extended to us i want to give my gratitude to dr pramila ma'am dr pk bag dr amrita das for conducting the entire day session and i think this is the easiest way to conduct a symposium without tiring uh, so i want to thanks all the chairperson co-chairpersons reporters member of technical committees of the symposium for their valuable time interest to conduct all the sessions successful I want to thank the entire scientists, technical staff, and other staff of Division Plant Pathology for their all-time support. Lastly, I want to bring your thanks uh, for this entire day program. This is a great pleasure. Thank you so much. So, uh, uh, Dr. Deva, thank you. Here, I want to make a small uh, announcement. Since the today's enter, uh, this program is over, and. Uh, we know delhi is chilling entire north india is chilling but you have to warm up very fast for day after tomorrow because on day after tomorrow means this is the uh, 18th uh, of december the another zone is going to hold a one day this uh, symposium of course that will be a brainstorming session from the northern zone dr jaspal kaur and uh, dr abhishek they are going to organize this uh, one day program and that program will be started early morning at 8:30 because they are accommodating so many speakers from outside uh, india simit australia like that so that's why you so warm up from today so that you can join uh, in time at 8:30 on 18th of december so this is my announcement thank you Okay, um, uh, Doctor uh, Gogoi, I would like, and also Doctor Pramila and Diva, whatever uh, has come out of uh, different sessions, especially the morning session inaugural and thereafter uh, technical session one, we should bring out proceedings. Right. And um, uh, after you bring out the proceedings, I would like to send it to our honourable director to look into some of the issues. Yes. Okay, um, which were flagged by many senior people. So let's see what we can do on that. Okay. Yes, our president. Uh, yeah. Dr. yeah, he PK. has to. Dr. Yeah. P. K. Chakravarti has to approve those proceedings, and then we will. Uh, because he is always uh, telling that at least yeah. from each meeting or any discussion, yeah. there should be some recommendation. Recommendation. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. so that it should go to the uh, yeah at least they are recorded and in future one can always work on it and then uh, right. use uh, those recommendations and they can be benefited beneficial yeah. to all of us so thank you all of you for uh, giving this opportunity uh, although i had a lot of commitments but i was so much attached so i could not leave also in between <laughs> Thank you so okay. much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank okay, you. okay, Doctor Niranjana and others. Thank you, Doctor Baranwal. Thank you for thank you, uh, conducting that other session parallel. Yeah, yeah. I could not join <laughs> because I was stuck here and uh, hmm. listening but to e posters. I made very good presentation. Very good. Yeah, I was uh, missing that. Yes, uh, I knew yes. that uh, Narsiman is always a very fascinating presentation. Yes, very yes. Good. It's a, it's a learning process for us also. At yeah. this stage also, we learn a lot of things from the mm. student presenters. Thank you, each one of okay. you. All the divisional staff for the support. Yes. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.